Welcome to this look at some new information and visuals regarding greenhouses on FS22. We're getting a lot of information dropped today. Um, so yeah, come along with me, Mr. Sealy B. Now it does say grow some vegetables. Let's take a look at the new greenhouses. Prepare for some all season gardening. Growing crops on your soil is fun and challenging. If you're playing with seasonal growth and snow enabled, your farm will not produce crops during winter though. What to do? What to do? Let's build some greenhouses. Regardless of the season and weather conditions, you generate additional income even during snowy months. Grab your coat and grow some vegetables. So let's not beat around the bush here and let us take a look. Small, medium or large? By magnifying the light of the sun and protecting the plants from freezing temperatures, your greenhouses can be essential asset to your bank account and your soul. Just, ima just, Im image? just imagine the sight of invigorated green lettuce after shoveling snow between dead trees and withered crops just to uncover asphalt. Never been so happy to see some lettuce in front of you, have you? Found in the production tab of the building screen, there are multiple greenhouses of different sizes to choose from, small, medium and large. That's completely new, we haven't had that before. Different modded greenhouses have been slightly different sizes, but as far as a base game one goes, um, so we've got three different to choose from. Uh, I'm pretty sure the picture, I might have already seen the picture, I'm just thinking. Um, they're in order from the background. I might, I'll put that behind and plug in now. Um, so you've got the Massey Ferguson, the ones at the far back is the small, then we've got the medium, we've got the large in the front. As far as I can tell from those pictures, that kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, I think so. You can place them on a free area of land that is in your possession. If you ever dreamed about a gigantic strawberry farm, this is your chance. Plant lettuce, tomatoes and strawberries. Not much of a lettuce person? Then just toss it. You can grow tomatoes and strawberries too. By visiting a greenhouse or directly opening the production chain screen in the menu, you can see all of your greenhouses listed and manage their production. Don't forget, you need to provide the greenhouses with water, otherwise they won't produce anything. That is another important point. And I think personally, it's a step backwards. It's a small thing, but the greenhouses now only require water. They don't require manure as well, which is sad, I think. Um, I know they've probably got other things for manure to be used for, but I, you know, my, my, some people might love that. They might be really happy. They don't have to keep taking manure and stuff because water's easier or however you want to look at it. Um, but they only take water now. Uh, store, sell, or distribute your produce. For each product growing inside your greenhouses, you can manually set the output mode. By default, the greenhouses will store the goods by generating pallets full of lettuce, tomatoes or strawberries. Then you have to take care of them manually after. You can also choose to automatically sell them or distribute them to a production plant like the bakery for further processing. So the three options. We can store them, the pallets will appear, it's up to you then with a forklift truck, whatever you're going to be using, to load them onto a trailer and take them onto the next destination, whether it is you're just going to sell them as they are or take them in further down the production line. Um, or you can choose for them to be sold directly. So you don't touch them, they just go from the greenhouse, they're sold. A little bit like you know getting that hourly income in, on greenhouses now, you know, on console, because I know on some of the, the mods uh, you do actually get pallets spawn. But, so you can, they'll just sell automatically, or they'd get delivered to the production chain, whichever factory or plant requires them, um, so you can then further the process. So if you're the sort of person you're not particularly, you don't want to use a forklift truck, you don't like using them, you haven't got the time, or you just can't be bothered, it's however you want to look at it, you don't have to, you can pick any one of those options to do it. So. I think that works out really well. Um, so let's make some delicious strawberry cake. Over there, you can ch again choose what should happen with the goods produced with your ingredients from the greenhouses. Uh, that last picture, looking at that, you can see the strawberries in the foreground. A lot of these pictures have been strawberry heavy because that's the new one we're getting. But if you look at the greenhouse behind that, you can just you see the lettuce boxes. And in the furthest one right back, there are some, there's some red around the outside. I think that's the tomato boxes, as far as I can tell. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's 
you know, there's different size greenhouses, the fact we can you can actually choose what you, you do with them, how it gets dealt with. Um, the screenshots look fantastic. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed you don't give them manure. It's a, like I said, it's a small thing, but, it, you know, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a minor thing. And what do you think? I, you know, would you have preferred it to have manure still on there? I, I, I don't know whether modders will gradually sort of change them or they'll just leave them as they are. I don't know. Um, but... As I said in the previous videos of this, you know the drill by now. You can still pre-order uh, FS22 up until the 22nd of November. And if you do, you get the Class Zerion Saddle Track Pack. Um, also available is the Year 1 Season Pass on most platforms. Um, and Mr. CP Merch is available if you are at all interested. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest, whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.